Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Andres Fernandez, professional salsa instructor from Miami, talking to you in today's lesson about marking consistency. In this video, I'm going to be applying everything that we've learned thus far. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and review the previous stuff really quick with you. Super important. First, the beat. We have to be able to locate the rhythm, the, the pulse, the heartbeat, the, the time and the rate in which the song lives. From there, those are known as your downbeats, which were translate to numbers as one, three, five, and seven. Generally speaking, the loudest beat would be the one, is is which the pattern starts. So generally it'd be one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. The one is just a little bit louder than the rest. Again, generally speaking, when I play this song, or any song, you're able to, if you're looking for that, you'll be able to find that. So once we have the beat and we locate one, three, five, and seven, we're then able to translate that and locate one, two, three, five, six, seven. Those are the numbers in which we are quite literally putting our feet on the floor, okay? So once we're able to do that, then we're able to apply our timing rules, which we learned were walking and pausing. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, I'm just going to be walking on those numbers, quite literally. My foot's gonna touch the floor on those numbers. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm quite literally walking, but just pausing every three steps. That is all I am doing. I'm not doing anything complicated by any stretch of the imagination, which is why anybody can do this. I am walking in the sense that I am transferring my weight from one foot to the other and I can go absolutely anywhere. I can go forward, I can go back, I can go sideways, I can do a turn. It doesn't matter as long as I am able to touch my feet on the floor, five, six, seven. On this time, then I am in good shape. I am in, in what is known as salsa timing. Oh, but Andres, why is it that you're not doing the different steps in the different directions? Because that comes later. What's super important is this foundation and your ability to be able to be stepping on the numbers from which the beat is feeding you before you learn absolutely any directions whatsoever. If somebody were to bump into me, or if I were to get a turn pattern confused, or if I was to be talking to you, that has nothing to do with my feet. Waist down, this is an automatic thing that's happening at all times listening to what the beat is giving me. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here for you, but I'm going to play a song. And this, this particular song actually feeds us the numbers, which is wonderful, right? So we find the beat first, here. This is the pulse of the song. So once again, this song is counting for us, right? but it lives off of this pulse. So then I start. I'm walking like normal. If you see, I'm not doing anything complicated, but what I am doing is making sure, absolutely sure, that my feet are putting, are, are coming in contact with the floor at the time that he is saying those numbers, which you need to be able to do on your own. This is your homework. You need to be able to do this walking to the kitchen, walking to the bathroom, doing the laundry, washing dishes, getting off of the bus, whatever it is that you do, you need to be able to count to three and pause every three steps with any music that's coming at you. And even if you don't have music, that's perfectly fine too. You need to be able to do that on your own, on your own pattern, on your own time. You can create your own song. Your feet should create a musical pattern, if, 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 if that makes sense. It should sound like organized sound. It should sound like music. I cannot stress the importance and the simplicity of this enough. As long as you're able to do this, then we can move forward. Now, the good news is the following. You're not gonna be walking around dancing in the club doing circles by yourself. There is certain foot placement to this, but once again, you need to be able to do this part before moving forward. I hope I've made myself clear and that you're not going through this as quickly and missing these key elements because it will hurt you later. From the bottom of my heart, please understand that. Love you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Andres Fernandez signing out.